Good morning and once again welcome to our devotion this morning as we explore through the book of Romans as we look at the subjects Israel's future uh, restoration and it's a very very beautiful beautiful subject here we are looking at Romans chapter 11 verse beginning to read from verse 11 today Paul writes and he says I say then have they stumbled that they should fall Certainly not. But through their fall, to provoke them to jealousy, jealousy, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Now, if their fall is riches for the world and their failure riches for the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am an apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry if by any means I may provoke to jealousy those who are my flesh and save some of them. For if their being cast away is the reconciling of the world, what will be the acceptance be but life from death? Verse 16. For if the first fruit is holy, the lamp is also holy. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches were broken off, and you being a wild olive tree were grafted among them, and with them became a partaker of the root and, uh, the root and fatness of the olive tree, do not boast against the branches. But if you do boast, remember that you do not support the root, but the root supports you. Let me just read verse 19. It says, You will say then, branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Allow me to stop there. It's a very beautiful scripture in the book of Romans chapter 11. And remember, yesterday we looked at the fact that the, uh, the, the, the three points that actually we looked at. We said, despite God's rejection of Christ, God remains faithful to his promises. And then secondly, we said that even in times of spiritual darkness, there is always a faithful remnant. No matter what you face, there is a faithful remnant. And then number three, we also said that God's faithfulness will endure any trial and circumstance. Secondly, now we're going to Romans chapter 11, verse 11, and we are looking at another writing of Paul. Now, Paul shifts his focus to the inclusion of, of the Gentiles in God's plan. What actually Paul does here, he likens the Gentiles to the wild olive branches grafted in the cultivation and, and cultivated in the tree of Israel. So through faith in Christ, Paul reminds these people in Rome that Gentiles becomes partakers of the promises and the blessings of God's covenant with Israel. He tells them plainly that these Gentiles, they have been grafted. They have been, become partakers of these promises. So Paul warns against arrogance and, remind, and, and reminds them that just as God removed the unbelieving branches from the tree, that he can also remove those who do not continue in the faith. That is what Paul is telling them. A very beautiful reminder that God gives them is that that Paul gives them is that salvation is by grace through faith, and uh, for both Jews and the Gentiles, and we must learn and remain humble, recognizing the dependency for God's mercy. What is Paul bringing out here very clearly? Paul is actually saying that the Gentiles have become partakers of the promises of God. Several principles that Paul is bringing in very plainly that I want to actually drive to us today. Paul is bringing out to the Romans that salvation is a gift of grace extended to all who believe. And he, uh, he says that regardless of any ethnic background, anyone qualifies for salvation. And then secondly, he actually brings about the fact that humility is essential in recognizing our dependence of God's mercy and our salvation. So what are we learning today? Yesterday we learned that there is a remnant 
that we learned that the, even in times of darkness, there's a faithful remnant. We learned that God remains faithful to his promises. We learned that God's faithfulness will endure every trial and every confidence. Today, we are looking at something very different from Rome, the writings of Romans chapter 11. We are learning that the rejection of Israel by uh, the, the, the rejection of, of God by Israel opened actually a door for the Gentiles to be accepted by God. I have learned that God has substitutes. That humbles me every day. The Israelites thought that when they rejected God, God will not have anybody. But guess what? God raised the Gentiles and grafted them right in the midst of his plan. So number two, we also need to learn that God's mercy will extend beyond ethnic boundaries, inviting all to his family. Jew, Greek, Chinese, Japanese, Taiwan, European, Kenyan, from wherever. Beyond any ethnic ground, God's grace extends to you. Even where you're seated, God's plan and mercy extends to you. And you know the mercy of God? The Bible says is as high as heavens are above the earth. Up there, the mercy of God is there. You that is exalted, up there in your position, God's mercy is there. You could be there also and you're down. Down spiritually, down in everything. Down there, God's mercy is there. God has never forgotten you. Never ever think he has. So in God's kingdom, there, are no, there is no partiality. He welcomes all who believe. What we are saying today is that Paul is bringing about a very beautiful picture of inclusion. Yesterday we looked at the the teaching of, a rem, of the remnants, you know, that God has remnants. And then today we are looking at the subject, the fact that God includes people from eth different ethnic areas to be a blessing to them. Isn't that an amazing lesson today? Kindly just take time and reflect. Romans 11 is not a chapter that you read quickly. You need to take time, reflect, meditate. I took a lot of time in the night reflecting on this. I, I, I extended my time in the night just trying to think about Romans 11. I can tell you it is work. And I can tell you, just take your time and read it so slowly and well, and you'll enjoy it. Bye-bye for now. God bless you. May he keep you till we meet again tomorrow. Amen. Bye-bye.